Hi everybody, Juliana here. Today we are in the middle of the forest and we're gonna do some mushroom hunting. We're here in Cambridge, in Ontario. It's November and the day is very warm. It's very, very hard to happen this now in Canada. So we're very happy to be here and enjoy this day, get some mushrooms. The mushrooms we are looking for, they grow under the white pine trees, under the pines. The top is gray and the stem is white. So we're looking for those colors and they're very great for pasta, for having just with some garlic and butter and I'm gonna make some very nice recipe in the channel for you. They're very hidden, so you, do, you really need to be good in hunting. Just go and explore all the area. It's very interesting. I love it because I love the forest. I love to be here. So let's do it. Let's do some mushroom hunting. Depending on the season, you might have to look under leaves and pine needles to find your mushrooms. You can use your foot to brush the leaves aside. The hunt continued as we drove around the back end of the trail, where the white pines are more popular. Mushrooms like to grow with certain types of trees and logs, so if you find a certain tree, it's very possible you will find some mushrooms there as well. We are in a group in a tour a company called Pox Plant. The group is about 10 people, so it's, it's good. It's not that much people you can do, explore the area. Everybody has take their time to do. Our tour guy, his name is Peter. He knows a lot about mushrooms, so he's always give some nice tips, what you can cook, how you can cook, where you can find them. And they're gonna check the mushrooms in the end to see if you didn't get anything that poison. So just to be safe for sure, because sometimes we don't know all the mushrooms. Nothing is better than go with an expert and growing your knowledge over time. Join groups and always ask for help with identification. The mushrooms you are after today are called great tricks. These are one of the most common and delicious wild mushrooms of late October and early November. After a little walking, we found our first mushrooms. They have a beautiful contrast of gray and white colors. Tools you want to use when picking are a small knife, scissors, and both paper and plastic bags. Paper bags are great for absorbing the moisture from the mushrooms, so they don't get moldy. So here we're getting some great tricks. They're very cute. It is so cute. It looks perfect. You don't pull them, you need to use the knife and cut the stem. In Canada, the wild mushroom season starts April and lasts until mid-November. On Bakery Trev, I'm always looking for amazing food adventures to share and use as an inspiration for our recipes. These mushrooms are called velvet foot mushrooms. And they're easy to identify. There are many of them like similar. Uh, yeah, but what's, and, what's important taste. is mm -hmm. the spores okay. are, are very active on these, and the spores are white. I want to peel back the bark because then they won't come back. They, they like that, um, and that's why they're a good winter mushroom because they have that nice protection from the bark. Oh, that's good. But we should check. There's a lot of uh, standing and fallen dead wood throughout the throughout this forest, so we should double check for those too. They appear in late September and they grow beneath the bark of the dead hardwoods. Velvet foot is great for risotto and pasta dishes. When you found them, you can feel the tops of the caps and check for firmness.
these mushrooms are called puffball or wolf party mushrooms because they emit as far as smoke when hit by rain or stepped on by an animal. A mushroom is actually a fungus, not a vegetable. Mushrooms' lives are usually short. They can grow from the ground, expand, and die in a few days. They grow in a wide range of colors, shapes, tastes, and sizes. Mushrooms make an excellent substitute for red meat in a dish, eliminating calories, fat, and cholesterol. In this section here, there are so many mushrooms and it's so beautiful. I just want you to look at this beautiful view and enjoy. It's amazing. It's very warm today. It's very nice to be here doing this experience. I hope you guys like this video. Coming, man. Coming. People are calling me. Here we found some wild ginger. If you dig out the roots, you can find a beautiful piece that smells sharp and lemony. A delicious ginger flavor for teas. So guys, this beautiful place here is close to the, the end part where we got most of their mushrooms. We got lots, almost one kilo. And uh, one thing that he said that's really important that you can freeze this kind of mushroom. So we got a lot, we're not gonna cook all today. So we're gonna freeze some. As you get home, go through your mushrooms again and discard any mushrooms that seem discolored or soggy. Start them in paper bags and then in freezer bags and place them into the freezer if you're freezing them. Don't wash them before. Start them with the dirt still on. Only wash them when using, or the water will damage your mushrooms. I'll probably make a pasta, okay? And we're gonna check this out in the channel. Hunting mushrooms is really interesting. It's really a, a very good adventure to do. I really recommend you to come and enjoy. And I don't know if the weather is gonna be as warm as today. So today's beautiful, was a very beautiful experience. I love it. I hope you come to check this out. If you come, check the company, okay? The link is in the description below. And uh, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Oh, so many birds. What's the name of this? Birds. 
birds? Birds, so many birds. This is to be a farm girl. It's a forest, but it's, if you have a farm so you always you always good. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, couple. Yeah. It's like a little, little, little. Oh, can I? Can I just get it? Yeah, please. Oh. From the peha, from the woods. 